Welcome to IBM Mainframer, a complete reference for a mainframe programmer. In this video, we are going to see DB2 SQL count function. The count function returns the number of rows that matches a specified criterion. This is the syntax for count function. Let us see some example to understand the use of count function. We take student table for our example. It has four column, roll number, student name, total mark, and result. Roll number and total mark column are integer data type. Student name and result are character data type. Example 1. If you want to count the number of student in the table, then the query will be. Select, count, open bracket, star, close bracket, from student table. But, it is good practice to mention the column name, instead of star, like this. See, this select query we used column, roll number. You can use any column name, within the bracket of count function. See this example, we used column name student name. The result will be same for any column name in the table. But, keep in mind null values are not counted. So, it is important to use the column which is defined as not null. Let us see this in practice, I already created the student table, using create table query, and inserted data into it. Now, we will select, all column data, from student table, using select query. Select, star, from student table. Let me execute this select query. Result displayed below. As discussed before, student table has four column, and it has six records. Example 1. If you want to count the number of student, in the table, then, the query will be. Execute the query now. We got the result, 6, which is same as the number of record in the student table. But, it is good practice to mention the column name, instead of star, like this. Replacing the star, in count function, as roll number. See the result value, 6, which is same as previous query. Let us see, another example on count function, if you want to find, the number of student pass, then the query will be, select, count of roll number, from student table, where, result, equal to, pass. Similarly, if you want to know the number of students fail, just replace the pass value in where clause, as fail. Let us see this in practice. This is the student table. It contains six records. SQL select query, to find the number of students, pass, is. This is the query. Let me execute this. See the result count is 5. It is because, out of 6 records, on the student table, only, one student is failed. So, 
The past student count is 5. See here, column name is displayed as 1. It is because, we used SQL count function to find the result. We should use alias name to change this column name. I am giving column name as past student count. Let me execute the query. See now, the column name is displayed as past student count. Now, if you want to see the failed student count, then just replace the where clause value as fail also we change the alias name as failed student count let me execute this query see the result we got one it is because there is only one failed student on the student table. Let me show you another SQL query to display both pass and failed student count by executing the single query. Hope you guys aware of group by clause. If you don't know, please check out our group by clause video. Let me change the alias name, to be meaningful. Also we add, result column, to the result. Let me execute, and, we'll see the result. See the result, we got student count, in column 1, and result in, column 2. So far, we showed you few examples, for count function. Hope you understand the SQL count function now. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. For more detail, please visit our website, www.ibmainframer.com. Happy learning!